How's it going, Laser Bruce? I'm Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Uh, I've done a little bit of changing around with armor and weapons and emptying out my inventory and selling some crap. And I haven't spent all my skill points still. I don't really see the need to. When I when I get to something that I can't hack or unlock, then I guess I'll do it then. I suppose. You can push persuade, I suppose. Hmm. I like pushing these ones here up to max first. Maybe I'll focus on defense. How do you use dodge? Oh, that's the double jump, right? And block. I don't even use melee weapons. I prefer just to take cover, you know what I mean? <laughs> Personally, but you know, you know, whatever. Maybe we should do leadership? Damage inflicted by companions. See, that could be useful. Let's put a whole bunch of points into leadership, just so that we don't have points with us all the time. Oh, and perks. We have a new perk. I forgot about that. Companion abilities. You can command your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy you're targeting. Okay. We have one perk point. And we can get into tier 3. What do we got? Further increase the damage dealt by science weapons. Don't even use science weapons. Increase damage at low health. Solo sneaker. Revenge. Tactical master. I don't use tactical time dilation really either. Melee damage. All area effect and plasma damage dealt to you is reduced. That's pretty good. Increase your carrying capacity. I'll have that one. I'll have that one. Alright, we are going to go to the Ice Palace now. That's our next mission. And then uh, Byzantium, I guess, is next after that. This is for Sublight, I believe, what we're doing now. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I don't, I, know. I don't know how hostile it is out here. We'll take Neoka and Ellie again. Nothing but the void here, Captain. I just don't need the cold, dark, and scary. Alright, we might have robots here by the look of it. Shipping label. One case of UDL concussive mines to HRS 1084. Okay. Yeah, we got hostiles on the map. And this seems to be the direction we're meant to be heading in. Uh, we ought to keep an eye on these autos. We poke around too much, they might wake up. Oh, they'll wake up all right. Don't you worry about that. We'll be dealing them with them before we leave. No doubt. Don't even worry about it. Okay. So don't think we're going to be le leaving before that happens. I don't really want to use that gun for this. So it's not exactly accurate, but light ammo is so much cheaper. Easier to come by. You know what I mean. Sealed. Who's that? There's a guy in a pod over there. Did you see that? You guys see that? Wait. How are we getting there? Can't get in there, everything's pissing sealed. Hmm. But there's stuff in there. I wanna go in there. Hmm. Alright, we'll come back to that. Oh, hello. So this is gonna be a fun one, I think. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Energy cells, pistol, bypass shunt. Gotta have that bypass shunt. Hmm. Is this above where we just were? It is. And we can't open this. 
Definitely not. I'll have more ammo though. This is definitely more efficient. Aha. Identity card. Pick up everything. Loot everything. We can always sell it later if we don't use it. Music box? That was random. Ammo. Never turn down ammo. Always find myself with an ammo shortage. Or an ex a huge amount of ammo. And then all of a sudden, ammo shortage. That's how it seems to usually go. Oh my god, I got so much ammo! And now I have none. Modified generator mode. Okay. Repair toilet. There you go. Oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. Thanks, Ada. What's going on, Ada? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. Oh, crap. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop... I've been waiting for this day since we tagged our ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Oh, my persuade's not high enough. That's a shame. Smuggler's been handled. Your team isn't cleared to dock at the station. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station's security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. Fair enough. You shouldn't even know about the station soldier, let alone interfere with it. Shit. Thanks for the warning. Last thing I need is to get fined for overriding security on a restricted station. My team and I will just head out then. Thank God! Now we don't have to fight the anyone. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. Yes, we don't even have to fight. I ought to try talking more and fighting less. Yeah, man. Seems like it saves on ammunition. It really does. Thanks. I guess that's the main reason to do it, really. Oh, wait. Did you open all the doors? Are all the doors open? I guess they must be. It looks like the hostiles are out anyway. I see a lot of hostiles on the map and now they're moving. Are you hostile? I can't tell who's hostile and who's not. Well, they're not attacking me, so I guess that's the main thing, right? Everything here done? Messages, security routines. We've been here, though. Are there new places we can access now? Yes. Watch your step. Quiet, you. I'm going to hack the crap out of everything, as we do. Disengage checkpoint security. Good. Which way? Well, we'll check this area out first. Because there's ammo. Always a good reason to check shit out. You can see Ellie's wearing a helmet, but no armor. I didn't actually have any armor deep better than what she started with. Except, well, I had a better helmet, because she didn't have a helmet on. But actual normal old armor, I had nothing. The armor I had was like, had defense rating of like 9 or something. So I just dismantled it. I ever meet the people responsible for this. I'm shooting first, never asking questions. Dr. Charles McNulty. Alive. Unstable condition. Subject should not be revived until a method for stabilizing his condition is found.
Is that what we're here for? Dr. McNulty? I wish I could help you, my man. But I don't know how. Okay, that's a shortcut. Cool. Dr. McNulty? Dr. McNulty, I presume. Indeed. Um, modify, oh, modify system access protocols. Insert sublight override chat, cartridge. There we go. Is that good? Now they get, they get to keep Mr. McNulty. Suppose sublight will make it for this. I hope that thanks comes in the form of cash. The better. Chartrand is that scientist, right? From Cascadia. Okay, they're not hostile anyway, so that's cool. Are we done? I think we're done here. I wish I could do something with this guy though. Help you somehow. Is there nothing I can do for you? I guess not. Oh, hello. Yeah. There was that room up at the top to be hacked, but I don't have enough hacking tools to hack it. I said hack too much and now it's gone funny on me. You know when that happens. See, I don't have enough hacky hacks to hack the hack hack. If you know what I mean. Oh, maybe I just don't have a high enough skill. You need 50 by the look of it. See, now I spend all my points and now I actually bloody need them. Oh, no, hacks at 60. We're good. I guess I just don't have enough dealies then. That's cool. Guess we'll leave. See you later. We have looted th this place entirely, right? Not quite. Not quite indeed. I haven't been in here at all. Frickin' safe! Nearly missed a safe! Right control armor. Corporation Service Award. Very nice. And code keycard. I don't think I need to do that anymore. Because I already, uh... Did all that. Didn't I? Already. Is that the way that goes up top? It is. Huh. Did we achieve anything else? Maybe that key cattle allows us to get in that door, right? Maybe? We looted this room, right? I'm pretty sure we looted the crap out of this place. Never be too careful. Yeah, I still can't get in there. And there's nothing I can do here still? With the new key card that we made? Nope. It's done. Now let's go get our money before Sublight sees what a creepy dump this place is. Fine, let's go. We've seen that name before. Back in Cascadia. Guess there's no reason to stick around. We done here. Now we though. We got a couple of missions to turn in. I need to meet that doctor as well. I forgot about that. Um On that other planet. Was it Monarch? No, it wasn't Monarch, it was the one with the science stuff. Maybe it was Monarch. I actually don't remember. That's in Groundbreaker. Byzantium. Hawthorne's Terminal mentioned searching black market vendors on Groundbreaker and Fallbrook. Okay, well I guess we can there's still more science weapons to find as well. More strays while you were out? I suppose at the crew's quarters. No, I didn't pick up any more strays. Smart ass. 
Uh, we're gonna drop at the Roseway landing pad. That's right. We had a place in Roseway to to visit because we helped all the scientists Roseway, there Captain. and didn't steal their information. We just actually helped them. Yes, this guy. Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. What risk? Oh, I'm not allowed to use the communications room. We are still, after all, a secret facility. I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti nature, Anti Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. Confiscated? Why? The schematics you fetched for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, Anti Cleo R&D felt otherwise. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Given your unlawful proclivities, I <laughs> thought it'd be safest with you. So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed. I appreciate that. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Nice. Well, oh, it's a weird looking. It looks like a bait. It looks like a little plastic toy gun. <laughs> it's super weird. Well, I ain't gonna be using that, but never mind. Let's go back to Sublight to turn this mission and then Might as well. Where's my ship? Welcome aboard, Captain. I'll drop the the weird gun in here. Okay. Captain. I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS dash. You're welcome. That's how we do. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Thank you. We need to see if we can figure out who else we can talk to about science weapons as well. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. Base had, uh, had scientists in suspension tanks. Some might still be alive. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? A UDL gunship buzzed the station, but I convinced them to back off. <sighs> I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. Doesn't matter to me. Rare gas in a lab that tested it on people? Couldn't have been a coincidence. You have an eye for patterns. Good. We need more contractors like you. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. And what's that? The truth about the human tailbone? I'm thinking more along the lines of the sapient species paradox. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Oh, my intelligence isn't high enough. I'm guessing you have an idea. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? I'm pretty good at that. I can do that. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084. And who knows what else? We have to put a stop to it. 
Hear me out. I'm listening. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. What do you want right. us to do? I'm done. I'm officially tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. Shooting will come soon. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions. A few? If we're going to see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Go on then. When you say aliens, what are we talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. I join sublight so I could do crimes, not save humanity. I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. You do look like you need some sleep, though. How do you know I'm not an alien spy on a mission to silence you? Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. That's comforting. Probably nothing to worry about, as long as you <laughs> don't start growing tentacles or slowing down time. Ooh, tentacles! I can slow down time. Already! Tell me what needs to be done. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. I'll talk to her at least. Why does Dr. Chartrand need to die? She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Wow. Now she's doing the same <laughs> thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. Your concern for the fate of our species is admirable. When did Sublight get so principled? Yeah. It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. <laughs> I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Okay. The labs I passed through didn't seem that evil. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of them sounded like they were sick. Excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Let's do it. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Nope, oh, Byzantium. Ask how I got it. Another you reason to go to Byzantium. Like by now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Mirror? Um, what other missions do we have to do? Nothing. So that's in Byzantium. That's in Byzantium. That's in Byzantium. This, in theory, is here, but... I don't know who to talk to now. I guess we could talk to the lady we talked to originally, whose name I've forgotten. The one who tried to give us cookies and shit. Terrifying Moon Man. Stop it. Wait, this is just pointing us back to the... to the ship. I thought the Wait science weapon thing... Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet and the... Shut up, you. Monarch! Apparently we're going to Monarch. It's 
get a monarch. Just quickly, because I want to see what. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Just trying to figure out what they, where this science weapon is. I didn't even know there was one on Monarch. It's only 90 meters away. It's really close. Well, we'll grab that and then we'll wrap the episode up. And then in the next one, we'll head to Byzantium, I suppose. As that's all there is really left to do at the moment. All of my side missions are there. Oh, are we going out there? Where are we going? Fallbrook. There must be a dodgy trader here that I could get information from. About science weapons. I don't even know why I bother. They seem pretty crappy. The science weapons so far. Their DPS is so bad compared to my normal weapons. Hey, Cat. Knock, knock. I do like the idea of collecting this, the whole set though. Like Pokemon. My dry goods come 75% guaranteed mold free. Was that 75% mold free? Hmm. No what? rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Alright, what do you got? That. Data pack contains the personal journal of Mercer Cole, a low level sublight contractor. Most entries pertain to slagging his teammates or complaining about shit for pay contracts. The last entry reads, can't believe we f found fucking Alavite gas in hibernated Rizzo lab out in the dust bag. Lavite? Olivite? Whatever it's spelt. It's worth a shit ton. Who the fuck used that to make candy? Looks like old Gertie's hunch is gonna prove out. Not that I'll ever tell her so. The way she goes prime with the slightest hint of criticism. Too much product for us to transport. Gonna need a ship to smuggle this off-world. Probably need Lilla Hagen to send a team. No way Miss Malin can handle this job out of Fallbrook. Been working on Remy. Plying him with the pale kale ale he likes. Figure if I get him nice and sloshed, you'll tell me the password to that place. Did some exploring while he and Gertie were testing the Alawiti gas. Found an old elevator shaft. A lab coat modded into a hidey spot for some dandified weapon. Thing's probably worth enough to make me a top runger after I got back for it. Old Mercer's getting himself to Byzantium. Byzantium. You can bet on it. Can't let Remy or Gertie find out about it. Gertie will go full burn and demand I split the profits. Remy, he'd probably send me to the boneyard and keep it for himself. Okay. So that's nearby then. Well, I know we're out of time for the episode, but uh... I want to find this first. Actually, I think I came across it, didn't I, already? But I couldn't get it out. Because I didn't know the passcode or anything. Pretty sure that's how it went. We'll have a quick look. Pretty sure I saw it, I just couldn't get it out. Because I didn't have the password or anything for it. I assume that means we're going to have hostiles to deal with again as well. Or well, maybe not. Everything seems to be dead already. Which is convenient. This way? I remember this. We got swarmed by... Dudes. There it is! Jeez, we were almost here. We must have almost found this by accident. Mind control ray. Dude. That's pretty badass. Alright, we're gonna wrap this one up here. Um, I'll fight around with the gear again as per usual in between episodes. That's all of the science weapons it seems. And in the next one we're gonna head to Byzantium. Till then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out with me and I'll see you in the next one.